Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome back to the Crypto Bully Bear channel where there was only fun decoding and no financial advice. And how funny was that? On the 29th of September, the 29th of September Friday was the proper party. And New York City was shut down under a state of emergency. We had a uh, flood, flash floods. Funny enough, right? Liquidity deals with water, water. The freaking New York City was under a state of emergency. On the day. Just found it funny. And the even funnier part was that um, I believe that XRP might have even went down 1%. If I'm not mistaken, and um, XPR popped up like 21 or 23 percent. So imagine you're going out there, you go to the dinner party, you're all there celebrating, you're feeling the energy and shit, you're thinking you're gonna come out and the fucking is gonna be a slight pump, you're gonna be excited, or drinking and shit, and then all of a sudden you come out and boom, to find out that XPR was the only one that pumped and you guys didn't pump. I, I would. I just found that pretty hilarious. I'm not saying that we're taking over right now. I'm just saying that it was just a funny scene on Friday. That's all. Uh, what else? I also found it funny that it was uh, the 29th, which is also uh, 119, which is also flipped as 911. And on 911, we had that state of emergency. So I'm wondering if uh, the November 5th or November 9th, we're going to have another crazy scene. Which I truly believe that November 5th is going to be something crazy. But uh, we shall see. The time is near. What else? Taylor Swift is still in the news. That's funny. You know what I did notice? I noticed that um, the tight end's number is 87. And Taylor Swift kind of represents the number 13, right? And let's say... Um, I wonder if that means something. Because 87 plus 13 is a hundred and a hundred pennies equal a dollar so being that Taylor Swift is part of the Swift system and I believe that she represents the financial system in a way then her getting in with the tight end and her number 13 with 87 making a dollar I'm wondering and then her being in the news for seven days straight I'm wondering if that's a sign Oh, there's my boy. There's my doggy. But again, I wonder if it's a sign. So, anyway, that's it for now. I just wanted to get that out there and say, uh, see what you guys have to say. Why do you think Taylor Swift is in the news for six days, seven days talking about this tight end number 87? Why was it so significant that this guy wanted to mention number 87 like he wanted to put his number on a bracelet to give to Taylor Swift so there's something about the number 87 they wanted you to know and if you didn't know also if you paid attention Taylor Swift went to a Bears game okay they were playing the Bears game and I'm thinking that Taylor Swift is 13 and I'm thinking sometime in October we're going to see something with banks or a collapse or something like that so, very interesting. Let me know what you think. Why maybe she was in the news for this long. What do you think about the number 87 and 13? Plus, like I said, they scored 31 points. If you flip it, that's 13. 13 plus 87 is 100. She showed up at Bears Stadium. Are we going to see a Bears market? Are we going to see a Bears market? What do you guys think? I think that's what's coming up for us. That's what I do believe. And then I also seen another image of um, OTAC paper with Taylor Swift and the tight end saying something about Bearcat. So it's an, uh, something else that I found funny with another bear name next to it with them couple's names. So we're in October, sometime this month or the first week in, of November. Something's going down, though. Something is going down. So all I can just say is not to panic. Just be aware. Don't be scared. Just prepare yourself. Make sure you have enough candles and water and um, some food that you don't really need to depend on cooking. You know? Just in case. Just in case. Okay? 
You never know out here, you know. If I was to tell you that the United States would have been closed down the whole country and no planes were going to be flying out at all for quite a while and you're going to be a curfew locked into your house, you would have said I was crazy. And anybody else who would have told you that, you would have thought it was crazy too. So I'm just saying, all because we lived in a time where we never experienced third world country status, don't think that it can't happen here. Don't think so. And believe me, I'm freaking in New York City, so, you know, shit's going to hit the fan here. So believe me, I don't want to be right, but I'm just saying, just got to be prepared. Just got to be prepared. And also, man, I got to say one thing, man. When this emergency thing was popping off, I really got to make a shout out, you know. I mean, there's two people out there. One reached out to see if I was good, but there was somebody else out there that actually called just to make sure that I was all right and offered any help if I needed it. And that's much appreciative. And that's just coming from some viewer that watches my, I wouldn't say just a viewer, but, you know, say like I'm not connected to that person, we're not, you know, related any in any way down bloodline, just because, you know, he watches my videos, he leaves a few comments here and there, you know? I just thought it was very touching, you know, somebody out there just offering their space or whatever, just to make sure that I was all good. So it's very nice to see some people in the community out there, you know, and never met me and anything like that, but still was able to, you know, felt comfortable enough to offer me any help. And I got to say, that's a lot of love out there. And, you know, if anybody was in the same situation and I had the space, I hell damn sure would do the same. You know, because you never know. Life is short out here. We got to take care of each other because nobody else is taking care of us. We got to do it for ourselves. Anyway, if that person is watching, again, thank you. I appreciate you looking out. I appreciate the reach out, the concern. It's very heartfelt and touching. So, just glad to be here. There's another day. The sun's out. And the shit is going to get wild. So, um, yeah, I think that first week in November, we're going to see some shit. November 5th, I believe, is going to be crazy. And November 6th, I, I don't know, I feel like Lone is going to do some type of popping. Lone is going to take off, I think. Not like take off to retirement type status, but it's going to have a nice little bump, I believe. It's Nacho Day. 11-6 is Nacho Day. So, let's see what happens when Nacho Dan comes up, but that's what I see. And November 6th, if they said, if you flip it, it's 911. So, it's another 911 day, just like 299. So, who knows? Maybe some, maybe everybody loses everything in the banks. I don't know. I don't know. But something big is coming up. Something big is coming up, and we're going to see what happens. Just be prepared. Make sure you have your assets in a safe place. Because if shit hits the fan and we're in the right asset and Proton is going to be the one that's going to save us, then we should have no worries out here. All right, not financial advice, but if that's what you feel, that Proton is the one, then, you know, then you should have no worries because I believe we're going to see something amazing coming up. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for liking, watching, and subscribing.